Okay guys, we're out here playing around with the dart and doing the intro after we did all the other work on the magnum heads that we put on. The engine's going to go back into here. As you can tell, some of you have seen this, some of you haven't. The LA318 was really messed up. So we're going in with a 360 magnum but got it all set up i'll show you in a later video i put at the end of this video i put a picture of my son's 360 magnum and what it looks like with the intake on it but already the second set of heads i've drilled so it's not that big a deal just be sure that if you've got a bolt broken off if you can get that out before you try to drill them on the ends because sometimes at the front end you get a bolt that breaks off. Try to get it done. I hope you enjoy the video. We'll show you the rest of it. Okay, here's what we got. What I've got right here is your standard run of the mill, probably cracked, but still able to run. 360, 5.9 Magnum cylinder heads. But I want to run an LA intake. This one has already been done and drilled from the last time I went through and built one of these but I built it out of steel and this time I want to go through and make one out of aluminum see if it'll hold up good enough to do what I need to do so we shall see okay I'm gonna show you what I'm doing as far as making this adapter plate or this template plate it may work may not Basically, I took a piece of this aluminum 6061 T6 on my bandsaw. Next step that I did is took a piece of this material, held it down on there. As one of my other videos did, I showed how to use ball peen hammer to make a template. In this case, the template's here. But you basically would go through and hammer around here and it will give you relief to where the pieces are out. I don't have my LA heads here but I did the LA head to get my pattern and then made multiple ones because I actually had two plates. I'm trying to do just one plate this time so we'll see. I then put my pattern up in there, clamped it down, did my center punches for my holes and then my next step will be to go through and drill those out. I mean, I'm going to back it possibly with this piece here to make sure I've got a little bit more bite to my nipples. I've got nipples here. I tried going to Home Depot, but no luck. Galvanize this time instead of uh, copper or brass. I guess it was brass last time. So that's where we're at right now. I'll come back here in a bit once I've got this thing drilled. Okay, here's some of the action going into place. I've already drilled the holes. I guess you can see these are already going. Ah, gotta come in like this. Going through there. Thing with aluminum versus steel is even with a t6 heat treat it likes to gum up that's why when you cut it with like a jigsaw or something like that you want a real coarse cut and you don't want to get it real hot because it will gum up the threads and it's fun to pick out i'll show y'all here in another second okay this will show you what i'm talking about see right there that's where it actually gummed up, but thankfully, it didn't mess it up. But that's when I, what I was talking about when I said it gums them up. It'll stick, just I'll leave a piece in there. Oh well, next one. Okay, I've got this thing clamped up. I've drilled the first hole. You can see these things are lining up. 
you will actually go all the way through on these before you try to say oh well you're gonna have an oil leak the threads on the rest of these holes for the angle actually come through too so it's not gonna be a big deal in fact that'll give you an idea that is the original hole on those and those go all the way through as well so I simply use these as guides get them started what you can also do drill the first two holes here the one where I'm at and this one here take it back off tap it put a bolt in it and it'll hold it even better but I've already done one of these before so that's why I'm doing this one like this all right just got finished tapping this one as you can see there's your LA bolt pattern got your thread there all right guys this is to show you one of the engines that we converted to an LA bolt pattern as you can see still got the magnum front runner stuff on it this is my son's coronet we bought it without an engine so we just slid this one right back in redrilled the heads I did have the heads off so we redrilled the heads put a Edelbrock performer 318 360 technically not the best manifold but hey I got it for really cheap and I got to keep my cast iron one so that one's gonna go on the dart but that'll give you an idea Thank <laughs> you.